Due to COVID-19, many pediatrician offices are having to alter their sick walk-in hours in order to keep staff and patients safe. HCA Midwest Health has eight CareNow urgent care locations across Kansas City that are open and ready to see kids for urgent care issues. Welcome to House Call. I'm Jessica Salazar, the Director of Marketing at Overland Park Regional Medical Center, a part of HCA Midwest Health. Today we are talking with Dr. Mary Devers, Medical Director of CareNow Urgent Care in Kansas City. Welcome, Dr. Devers. Thank you. Thank you for, for, for joining us today. So mm -hmm. what is the age limit for pediatric patients at CareNow? Well, CareNow is ready, willing, and able to see kiddos down to three months of age and up. Our goal is to get them feeling better and get them back to their own home. Um, we also are able then to communicate their office visit with their respective pediatrician or primary care provider. Able to close that loop of communication amongst Absolutely. the primary care yes. physician. As awesome. soon as we get done seeing the patient, um, we are able to automatically fax over the records as soon as we hit discharge. So yeah, they'll get the, the office records right then and there. And that's so important to continue that continuum of care. Absolutely. Absolutely. What, what precautions are each care now taking to keep patients and staff safe? We, we have several precautions in place. One of the first things that we offer is something called web check-in. We actually can register online, fill out the vast majority of paperwork, and then we'll call you when it's time to come in. Another option is if you come in and the waiting room is full, we can have you complete the paperwork and wait in your car. If the wait is longer, we can actually send you home and have you come back. We are trying to limit the amount of people physically in the waiting rooms and in the offices. So we you know, do ask that there's only one essential visitor or companion there, not to bring any extra visitors unless it's absolutely necessary. Obviously any pediatric patient is gonna to need to have a parent there. We are also thoroughly cleaning and sanitizing all patient rooms, all exam rooms, and all other areas uh, according to CDC guidelines and recommendations. We have also removed shared items like the refreshments, the magazines, and toys. Those are also gone from the waiting room. We are screening every patient who comes in, whether you're the patient or the visitor for COVID-19, and everyone gets a mask upon arrival to our office. We have social distancing in our office as well, such that the, uh, the waiting room chairs are, are spread apart as well. We have stickers on the floor for where people can stand so they are socially six feet distant as well. Um, we're offering also the um, ability to get care in your own home by doing virtual visits. Um, we can do uh, telemedicine visits for several different um, conditions and you'll simply check in online and our team will send you a link to set up the virtual visit in just a few easy steps. And I think that's so that's such a great satisfier for for parents is knowing that you yes. can do a web check in that if it's crowded, you can wait in your car, you can actually go home, someone from care now will call you come back to one of the care now urgent cares or a, a virtual visit via telemedicine. Correct. 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 It, it has been a huge uh, patient satisfier because of the, the COVID-19 concerns. Now you wanted to share with us the top 10 reasons to take a child to urgent care. Because <laughs> obviously, yeah. as we discussed earlier, um, pediatrician offices across Kansas City that do have those um, walk-in urgent care hours have now limited those due to COVID-19. Um, so these are the top 10 reasons that we, uh, that you want to see a child at a CareNow urgent care facility. Number one, just any childhood illness. Correct. Any childhood illnesses, the hand, foot, and mouth disease, fist disease, chicken pox, whooping coughs, all the normal childhood illnesses that uh, kiddos experience. Number Second two. Oh, go uh -huh. ahead. I'll, I was I'll go say, for it. I'll do it. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Fevers I was going to say mild. fevers. Yeah. Fevers. You know, fevers can be from a lot of things. Um, it's not necessarily anything bad, but a fever is just a sign that your body's trying to fight off infection. A fever is a symptom itself, not specifically a disease. Um, and a fever can be a sign of many common illnesses from colds to flus, bronchitis, strep, mono, and earaches as well. Next thing that we see tons of kiddos for is uh, ear infections. And there's a couple of different kinds of ear infections. One is a middle ear infection or otitis media, and that is from um, fluid and bacteria that build up behind the tympanic membrane. And then during the summer specifically, we see a lot of swimmer's ear as well, which is an infection of the actual ear canal or the outer ear. Uh, both of those are easily uh, diagnosed and treated in our office as well. Um, certainly during the summer months, we see a lot of eye infections. The most common one by far is pink eye or acute conjunctivitis. And this is either a viral or bacterial um, infection of the um, lining of the eye, uh, easily treated with eye drops as well. We do see kiddos with styes, and styes are more of an infected hair follicle on the eyelid itself. Um, we also see corneal abrasions and sometimes even corneal ulcerations, which is a break in the corneal surface, and that lets bacteria set in as well. All these things we can easily see um, and treat from our office. 
Okay. Uh, the other thing we commonly see are a lot of respiratory infections, whether it be viral or bacterial. They can be in the nose, windpipe, or lungs. If they are left alone, they can spread down into the lower respiratory system, cause pneumonia or bronchitis. And while you can generally treat common colds at home with rest, fluids, and over-the-counter medications, other, medi or other infections uh, may require uh, antibiotics, especially pneumonia. Uh, you'll want to you, you'll want to check those <laughs> oxygen levels as well. If it's, yes, if we it's check oxygen levels when every patient comes in. It's a routine yeah. uh, vital sign that we obtain. Okay. Um, the other common thing we see are sore throats and strep throat. Um, so if you've ever had a sore throat, you know how miserable it can make you. Very difficult to swallow. Um, most of the time, sore throats are caused by viruses, but we are able to check, obviously, for bacterial infections as well. Uh, typically, if it is a bacterial infection like strep, antibiotics are the are the way to treat those. The other thing all our offices offer are x-rays. And so if you've got a kiddo with a sprain, strain, or broken bone, we can see all those kiddos and get the initial evaluation done. Uh, we have various splints, we have crutches, um, but then we'll get them, end up getting them set up for definitive care with one of our pediatric orthopedists within HCA Midwest Health's um, healthcare system to be able to take care of those uh, definitive fractures and schedule the follow-up straight from our office. And I think that's so important for parents yes. knowing that, you know, you can come right off the field to a care now if you need to. Yes, yes, yes. And with uh, many sports picking back up again, soccer mm -hmm. and baseball specifically, football's getting ready to start here with conditioning as well. Um, we do, and we offer all, you know, extended hours um, open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. seven days a week. So we can see you Saturday after practice or Sunday mm -hmm. morning beforehand. Uh, another common thing that we um, see, especially in little kiddos, is putting things in places where they don't belong. <laughs> this is my, I must say, we do a lot of. <laughs> this is my favorite one, Dr. Devers, because I think I've come to care now with a few Lego incidents. <laughs> yes, Lego incidents, things in the ears, things up the nose. Um, a big thing would be batteries, um, little button batteries. Those are pretty emergent. We do need to see yes. those kiddos if they swallow batteries and whatnot. But otherwise, we're usually able to get those small toys, small toy parts, crayons, Legos, food, pencil erasers, buttons, seeds, all those things um, we're able to take out as well right here. Now, the home. batteries, I mean, that's yes. that's kind of a big one because, you know, that is a big one and remote controls and toys, yep. um, especially with yep. the holidays, shopping, ramping up, you yep. know, just parents need to take precaution with with batteries. Exactly. And if you even think that your child swallowed a battery, very simple to diagnose because it shows up readily on x-rays. We mm -hmm. get a quick x-ray done and if it's there, we have to actually send you into the hospital to get evaluated. Yep. Uh, next thing that we commonly see during the summer months are skin rashes. We see hives, we see eczema, certainly we see the occasional case of chicken pox, but mostly we see a lot of allergic reactions. This is something like poison ivy or poison mm -hmm. oak. Um, any kind of um, swimming pool um, irritants, chlorine, um, certainly any kind of metals, um, rubber, latex, um, soaps or deodorants, we also see and can treat all kinds of different skin, uh, skin conditions. Also during the summertime, big thing for the skin are bug bites and bug stings. Um, they are everywhere right now. So we see spider bites, we see mosquito bites, tick bites, flea bites. Um, things that they would need to be evaluated for is if they were having some sort of allergic reaction. And that could be something as simple as developing a rash, nausea, vomiting, hives. Um, but if they have any kind of difficulty breathing, rapid heart rate, those kiddos need to be evaluated pretty darn quick. Sometimes bites can also get secondarily infected. Kiddos like to scratch. Yes. Bacteria can get right on in there. They develop flu symptoms. They can have uh, purulent drainage. They can have inflammation. They can have headache. They can have rash. Uh, swollen glands, um, and you can actually develop a cellulitis where the skin gets real warm um, mm -hmm. and tender and hot touch um, around that right area. Those things are all generally treated with oral antibiotics as well. And what happens, Dr. Devers, if a child needs a higher level of care after being evaluated? Yes, so if your now? child comes in and we determine that they need to have a higher level of care, we can immediately set up a referral to HCA Health Midwest Network. Uh, we have a pediatric ER over at Overland Park, Med uh, Overland Park Regional Medical Center. And also within that same building are all the different specialists that we can get a uh, referral set right up for you. And why should families choose care now urgent care and, and not avoid urgent care right now, especially? Correct, correct, correct. With all the um, safety measures we have in place, it is very safe to come and see us, but we are very family friendly. We welcome kids over uh, three months of age. We're open seven days a week. We're open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So we provide you care when it's needed most. We have the availability to do um, walk-ins as well as web check-ins, as well as virtual visits. We also then have that open line of communication with your pediatrician and family practice. 
Thank you, Dr. Devers, for joining us today. Care Now Urgent Care offers eight locations across the Kansas City area. You can find a Care Now location near you at carenow.com backslash Kansas City.